What's going on, eFam? Welcome back to the channel. I am on a rescue mission today. I'm down in Dallas, stopped at Home Depot, got to pick up some uh, tools, equipment, I guess. <laughs> we got to pick up a propane torch. I am going to go help my dad, slash save my dad, rescue my dad. He got stranded in the airplane uh, about 100 miles south of Dallas, south of where he's supposed to be, which is home. So uh, I will let him kind of show the story of what happened here when I get to his house, but it's a rescue mission today. Y'all follow along. Well, I picked up a propane torch. Not sure how this is gonna help us fix an airplane, but my dad said to get it, so we got it. Well, I made it. Let's go figure out what we're doing. What happened? So we're on a rescue mission. We had an airplane get stranded in Stevensville because of a tiny little spring that's uh, broken. And so that spring is inside a box that looks like this. So, so we can't just replace the spring. We can't just replace the spring, <laughs> uh, at least not in the field. So we bought a new unit. This is a couple of aviation monetary units. They, they one monetary unit is a thousand dollars. Yes. So uh, it's like, boat. like a boat. Yeah, but but worse. But worse. <laughs> so we have this shipped in from Canada. It's called a starter adapter, and the springs in here. So we replace it. I'm gonna unbolt the old one put the new pulley on it and put it back in the airplane. And then the airplane should start. That was the whole point. Yes. You click the starter and it just goes bzzz, and the prop doesn't move. So that's the problem we're trying to solve. But you also got stranded when you were taking some friends. Yes, for an airplane ride to dinner 100 miles away at Saturday night. And so the rescue continues because the first part was how do we get back from the middle of nowhere? We ended up hiring a private guy, 200, paid him 200 bucks to drive us two hours, got home at midnight. That was a whole adventure for another story. So this is the second half to go get the airplane, which has been stuck down there for a week. We've been waiting on parts and the weather, and uh, the weather isn't great, but it's good enough for us to be able to fly today. Uh, so we finally have everything, all of the stars have aligned. Now, hopefully when we get there, all the stars align that we have all of the tools and all of the parts and everything that we need to actually put it back together and get it running. So gotta move this airplane out of the way to get the other airplane out. It's a little bit of Tetris, but. So we've got pretty much everything loaded up. We're going around, well, I'm going around and basically doing the pre-flight inspection, which is where I just look over everything, make sure everything looks right, everything's functioning. We're not missing any screws anywhere. Nothing looks like it's falling apart. Um, make sure everything is basically just the way that it's supposed to be. So this is what, we do this actually every single flight because during any flight anything you know potentially can happen and so you want to check it every single time that you go flying to make sure that it is just the same as it was the flight before so it takes not that much time but it could save your life so we make sure that we do it every single time walk through make sure that everything looks normal as it should nothing's out of place and we haven't even left yet my hands are already dirty so yep <laughs> So everything looks good. Uh, we were a little bit low on oil, so I put some more oil in it. And uh, we've got an extra quart of oil. This airplane burns a little bit of oil or leaks a little bit of oil, like just a couple of drops. And so we are making sure that we always check that um, to make sure that it never gets too low. So looks good. I think we are ready to head down the trail. I've got the other airplane pulled out and My dad just went in the house to grab a couple of the little things and we'll be pulling this out, ready to get in the air. All right, we got an airplane on departure. Crandall's gonna fly us down there today. Crandall's an excellent oh. pilot and uh, he'll be flying this airplane back by himself. What do you have to say, Crandall? I just gotta say, Dad always comes to help me do boring, awful projects, and I get the better end of the deal to fly to help you. So, <laughs> I'm pretty are, happy with that. Ours are adventure projects. Yeah. All right. Although go. it's gonna be rough once we get there, I bet, yeah, so. We, we hope it'll go smoothly. Well, we made it about 15 seconds into turning on the engine, and our transp transponder wouldn't go on, which we need, 
and uh, we just realized that there is a wire that's clamped stuck behind it so it's probably not pushed back all the way so it's not actually plugged in is the gist of it so my dad's gonna go grab the tool we'll get that fixed and hopefully that's as simple as it is and we're good to go it's always something this is definitely a marcy and crandall type adventure <laughs> one thing after another ta-da all it was was uh yeah that cable got pinched pretty good in there don't know how that happened but I guess that means just don't have a screw loose. Don't, <laughs> don't run around your screws loose. All right, now we can officially go. Just landed we had a little bit of a crosswind which means you're landing this way and the wind's coming against you or across from you which made it a little bit uh squirrely but it was perfect did a great landing uh flew all the way here had uh pretty low clouds the entire time as you guys probably saw from the little bit of footage that we got which was fine we made it right through it i actually uh this is the first time in a long time that i have used flight following so basically you call into the main tower and they will track your flight and they kind of tell you where traffic is and which way to go and all that kind of stuff i haven't done that much talking on the radios in a long time so it was a good experience and good to start learning that again and we're gonna see what fixing this airplane is gonna entail so this is what got stranded here <laughs> Guys, the weather is actually beautiful. I'm glad it's not sunny because it's like a thousand degrees already yeah. here in Texas. So we actually get a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breeze. It's pretty humid, but we are going to move this over by the other airplane and then we'll get after it and show you guys kind of what we're doing. So our first step is going to be setting up the table and some shade. Then we're going to take the cowling off the engine and start looking at what's going on. So there's a lot of buttons. Sorry about the wind noise, noise y'all. We're gonna be fighting in the whole video, but. Just like that, we've unleashed it. Pretty dang easy. So this is the pulley. This is the pulley and the unit is sitting right here. So does this have to come out and the be starter put back just, on? Yeah, the starter just comes off with these two bolts. Okay, so that's the pulley. So it's all the way down to here. And we've got to cut that safety wire. We've got to take the pulley off. And then the unit bolts onto the engine right here. So it's it's kind of right inside that area. Okay. We're elbows deep. My dad just asked me, do I want gloves? I said, it's a it's little late. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so here's our little canopy. Of course, we put the tent up to protect us from the sun and the sun is pretty much coming in right where we're working but this is the overview we've got a canopy over the engine and we're working under the wing under the canopy this is our supply airplane we packed all this junk that you see here in the back of that airplane good old airplane love the Stinson it is a magnificent bird and the 210 is a great hauler in its own right so we're trying to get that pulley right there that just focused. We're trying to get that one off. So we got to loosen the nut before so that we can actually get it. Let's see if I got him on one side and dad's on the other. Looks too small. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's moving the prop. Is it really? Yeah. Do you want me to hold the prop down? Yeah. Or? We got step one done. We got the pulley off. I mean the belt off of the <laughs> pulley. Oh my gosh. It goes on the blooper. That goes on the blooper. Boop. Yeah, so does say. that. <laughs> so, wait, that might be an issue. I can pull it out, but only that far. All right, well, we'll see how we deal with that. 
So you can see here, if you got the starter off, you see that pulley, you can see where I was working on the other side. And we're getting pretty close to actually making, pulling this off hopefully. Oh, heaven be praised. Now it's heavy. <laughs> it's only like 18 pounds on your fingertips. Uh, come on, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, oh, oh that bolt on the other side. Probably keeping it bound up. Okay, so I'm gonna try and you can drop back in, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we, we are birthing. Oh, <laughs> Dad, this, I, I don't want to jinx it, but this is too easy. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Maneuvering it through all the hoses. And Almost there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh baby. My gosh. Yeah. That was too easy. Oh, that's not a small spring. You see where it broke? This, no, is, this the is the spring, and yep, yeah. you can see it can snapped see it's right, right in there. there. That's a massive spring. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay. That's the first. Uh oh. Oop. Dripping oil. Oh. Yep, it's coming out from everywhere. <laughs> this way. <laughs> That's the best way to hold it. Do we need to okay. fill the new one full of oil? No, it'll get filled. But we do need to get this pulley off and installed on that other one. So. With making a mess. Without starting the oil on fire. We need to shoot True. That, heat that pulley up, extract it, and then put it on the other one. I brought my big tools. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be slick? I guess this is what we need the torch for. Actually, it's right here. Oh, good. Right as we're pulling out the fire, the fire truck shows up. Invisible flame. You can't see it, but you can hear it. Should have had that ready. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of ready. It was easier than we thought to get it off of there. Good. Just Good. don't touch the dang thing. All right, that's close enough. Whew! We had two major wins. The only thing left is to put it all back together, so I'm having a snack. It's time for a snack. Thank you, Crandall. I really, really, really appreciate it. I'm just excited to start flying. This is awesome. There's a big hole in the back of the engine right at this point, but other than that... Something's supposed to go there. Yeah. Check. Well, we're making some major progress if we're pulling out the torque wrench. That means we're finishing up. We're getting there. We got the part in place, and that's a very solid landmark. This is the slowest part so far, putting it back together, putting these wires in it. So what Crandall's working on is safety wires, which is wires that keep bolts from moving. There's holes drilled through the bolts, and you put wires through the bolt holes so and tie them off to something sturdy so that they can't move. That's the idea. Here's an example right here. Here goes that cut. helicopter. We're going to have to... All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a break in the action to watch the Dallas Cowboys helicopter take off. 945 Dallas Cowboys. You can tell because there's that bright star on the back of it there. The Lone Star State. dang close just finished putting the bolt the starter back on if you guys look this looks pretty much like it did before 
My dad's it's literally just shinier parts. Yes. And the ones that aren't broken. Yes. So we're finishing up safety wire right now, which is the contortionist nightmare. The worst part. Honestly, it's taken just as long to do that as it did to take, take the whole, whole thing, thing apart, apart and put it back together. So, but we are getting really close. Which is good. It's only, I think it's three o'clock. It's two or three o'clock. So we'll be out of here, be home before it gets dark, which is going to be really nice too. So as long as the weather can hold off, it's just been kind of hazy. Almost looks like smoke. It reminds me of smoke when we lived in Utah during the middle of the summer with all the wildfire, wildfires. This is kind of how it would look, but there's no wildfires right now. So it's just clouds. It's actually humidity. I think we're at like 80% humidity, 90% humidity today. So Definitely the community is not helping, but... Did you see the Dallas helicopter take off, Crandall? Yeah, that was insane. It, oh, I gotta show you guys. It yeah. completely moved the Stinson. Stinson was straight, and it blew it over. Thankfully, we had it tied down somewhat decently. My tie down on the back didn't work, uh, but it didn't go any further than this. It about blew the whole tent over. I thought it was going to lift the wing on the airplane up. It was a bad deal. Well, guess what that means. We're just buttoning it up. We're just probably 10 minutes from having everything cleaned up and ready to give it a try. Although I guess there's no trying in this. It's going to work. <laughs> or it's <works>. not. <laughs> or you go home with one airplane. <laughs> All right, here comes Crandall in my oldest airplane. Time to fuel up and take these birds home to roost where they belong. One of the most handsome airplanes, flown by one of the most handsome pilots, Crandall Eldridge and the Stinson. Oh yeah, it looks real. thing is going to start up. Our fix better be permanent. I hope so. It should be. Uh oh. Get this thing pushed back. That should do. Oh, all right, guys. This has been a super cool day. Uh, being able to fly down here with my dad, get this all fixed, fly separate airplanes, fly separate airplanes home. It's pretty dang cool. I absolutely love it. Check, check, check.
Nicely done. Wow, huh? We did it. We Some got it. Mission. It's hot. Yeah, it is. I can't believe you kept up with me so well. I know. I was the most you ever got far ahead of me was four miles. Is that right? Yeah. You probably lost sight of me though. Yeah. Yeah. It was all, you could only see like two. And then you were you listening on one one eighteen one? No, I forgot. I didn't even think about it. I just went over to the C tap and one one or one. And you two, just stayed clear of stuff. Yeah. He said there's somebody following you, and he says, "Is it nine or four zero six Q?" He goes, "Yeah." <laughs> he said he was doing about one hundred and thirty knots. I was like, "Man, that's boogieing." Yeah. No, I was. I did good. Well, we successfully made it. Thank you, it was, Randall. No problem. It was like. Uh, 20 minute shorter flight home because we had a wind pushing us than it took to get there, which it really wasn't that bad. It would have been nice if the visibility was better because it was kind of hazy, like yeah. you couldn't, it wasn't pretty, but it was still a blast. But everything is back, rescue mission complete. complete. <laughs> and now we can go take a break and eat a popsicle or something because it's, it's hot and hot. humid. <laughs> I just made it home and Marcy, you guys, completely cleaned the entire house, like probably the best it's been in ever. No, I Ever. ever. Literally the best it's been ever. Maverick got to watch Blippi, it sounds like. And Marcy did something without me, and I am mad about it. I did something without you? Yeah. Oh, I cleaned the shower. I scrubbed it. <laughs> you did? I haven't looked at that. I scrubbed it with the anti-rust stuff. No. I was supposed to film it to show everybody how, like, yes. we're going to I forgot. No, you fed the babies. Yeah, like four times. What? That wasn't the first time you fed them? Today? Yeah. No, I fed them like four times. Food. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you not know what I'm talking about? I don't so know. I guess I fed them more. if you, like me, want to see the Baby Z for the first time, it's on our other channel, Marcy and Crandall, because I missed that. So thankfully Marcy filmed it so I could see it, but... <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> well, Tyson only had like two spoonfuls because he wouldn't hold he his. He was yeah. so tired, he wouldn't hold his head up. He just kept going like this. So, you basically got to do it again, huh? Look at that smile. Basically. I know, I saw that. That was so stinking cute. I love you. I love you. Oh, you cheeky boy. Oh, did you miss your dada? Hi, buddy. I'm happy to see you too. Goose is over there wanting me to go give him attention. Yeah, I had to walk him and go. Hi! Look how happy he is. Hi! <gasps> Y'all, it was so good to be able to go spend some time with my dad, help him on a project. You guys know how much he has helped on our house. I mean, he has done all of the major projects he's been here helping me with. So I'm glad I could go down. Honestly, I got the better end of the deal on that where I got to actually fly. He just had to come do manual labor. So I'm glad that I was able to go help him. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't seen our new channel, we have a second channel now. It's Marcy and Crandall. I will leave a link down in the description. Go check it out and we will see y'all on the next one.